Hello, my darlings. Virgo, welcome to your February reading. I am using my uh, life coaching oracle to start off with just to get an overriding theme for this reading. And then we'll move into the animal tarot uh, to go a little deeper uh, into spirits messages for you today. If this resonates with you, my darling, you are hearing it within your divine design. And if it resonates or I resonate as reader, don't forget to hit that like button for me to subscribe, perhaps subscribe, to perhaps comment, uh, to perhaps become a member of this channel or to perhaps take advantage of my gift back to you, which is a 30 minute online page what you can reading so let's see what wishes to come out that has popped out for you already spiritual gifts you are in the process of developing and fine-tuning your spiritual gifts um and what i'm feeling with this my darling as well is that there is a pattern emerging in your life of something at this time and you are being asked unwavering faith you're being asked to have faith in the, well, actually it's in the unseen, but it's also I'm getting in the system. So I don't know if that resonates with somebody, uh, whatever system of approach that you're doing at this time. Um, you're being asked to have faith in the unseen. Just because we can't see it doesn't mean to say it's not there. For example, when seeds are growing, which represents our growth, they go through a period of time where they're unseen, where they're in the soil. And then we, uh, the soil is giving them the landscape, the environment is giving them the nurturing for them to grow. So whatever um, uh, structure that you're in right now is supporting your growth, your evolution at this time. And uh, they're asking for you to be, it's that, I know we talk about New Year's resolutions and how, you know, it's easy to break those resolutions, but the word resolute means to have unwavering faith, to have unwavering faith in what you are doing, even if you don't know quite why you're doing it or what the end result, the end outcome is going to be. Do you know what? That's the best way of doing it when we don't know the outcome. Because when we know an outcome, we package it up in a certain way, we box it up and we say, this is what I want. And then we're not allowing ourselves to receive all that is infinite there for us so other possibilities other choices other opportunities that the universe has for us to expand on these gifts and we all have these gifts my darling but we have taught ourselves through our uh, relationships uh, through our life uh, to behave and to do in a certain way that society might consider normal, but also that uh, we feel comfortable with. You know, we can get very attached to a certain way of being, a certain way of performing. We're all a person, a person is a persona. And so what they're saying, what was lost is now found within you. And do you believe, for you to believe that you are, um, you have a gift and you're fine tuning it. Fine tuning it says that you are a, you are a, a, an artist at this. You're a craftsman at this. You're a master at this. You're just tinkering away at the moment. We're just getting it within that perfect divine design for you. And that's wonderful. So Virgo, let's have a look to see uh, where you feel you are right now. Thank you. That flew out course you are the ten of wands you're coming up almost like the seeds that i talked about are coming up this is the scarab beetle this is the death and rebirth there's been um some form of ending in your life to allow for a new beginning and the scarab beetle is facing the sun so you're facing towards you're encouraging growth you're encouraging that energetic movement for yourself you're encouraging healing for yourself i feel like you know you feel you've you've achieved so much and uh you want more to come you're starting to see the light um literally like the seed coming up you're starting to see the light of something and through this you are starting to understand what it is that it is an aspect of this spiritual gift for yourself at this time the ten of wands is a card of letting go it's a card of surrendering to what is it's a card of letting go of all sorts of energetic burdens that we carry around with us that could be about the perceptions of others and how they think or feel about us it could be about the perception we have about ourselves. it could be our perception about what is important for us what is not important for us it could be about the responsibility we feel for others as well we want to fix somebody we can't fix them all of it the ten of branches is the universe giving you the experiences to show you that actually the only thing is important 
is the connection you have with yourself and all else comes from that strong foundation. So that is just wonderful, Virgo. Uh, let's see what your uh, challenge is at this time. Thank you, Spirit. Oh, that's not meant to be in there. Um, thank you. And I want you to know that there are, look, I'm just noticing here, there are lovely seeds coming up. You're already starting to see, my darling, you are, as I said, fine tuning. And, and when, you know, seeds are growing, we do nurture, we do pull up the weeds, we do water. So everything you're doing right now is creating a loving environment for your spiritual gifts uh, to grow. And you're just being asked to have faith in the natural process of it, the natural timing of it. We're always in such a rush, aren't we? Um you know, I'm being given, you know, like with Amazon, um, you know, we order something arrives the next day, we're delighted. And, you know, if there's a delay on it, we have a frustration. So um, the universe is cooking, is preparing, is creating that perfect thing for you. And it happens perfectly. It, it's your divine design. So uh, try not to be impatient about the growth of this, just like we're not impatient with plants. Don't be impatient with yourself right now. So what is your challenge? Pis uh, Virgo's challenge. Why did I say Pisces? Virgo's challenge. Again, the Knight of Pentacles here. This is the seeker of branches, the seeker of your desires. You are on a quest. And those that go on a quest could be like Lawrence of Arabia with the camel here. Um, the camel is very relaxed, you know, actually at a at an energetic level, you're much more relaxed than you feel you are or you might perceive from your mind you are um, about this journey ahead. You're not. Um, you're not under any illusion that this is not going to be without its challenges. Uh, but equally, you're very equipped for it. You're ready for it. Uh, you're feeling quite relaxed, as I said about it. And the thing about the uh, the Knight of Pentacles, that it is that slow, steady journey. But it is about the experience of the journey. And that's what you are recognizing now that in each and every aspect of the footsteps that you're taking, there can be shifts like the sand. There can be changes. Others have gone before you. You're not alone in this. Uh, but actually, there is with this desert, the huge, wide, uncharted territory for you to explore. And I feel this sort of sense of excitement about you. And now I've got the death and rebirth card. So there's definitely been a big change in your life, my darling. Um, and I and I feel that um, you may be asking somebody to come with you on this journey, and there may be a slight reluctance about that. Um, but you kind of understand, but you're still going to do this anyway, if that means people are falling away from your life or, or, or not. Uh, let's have a look at your recent past. This is the past is, is having a, an energetic impact on the present. And you have the five of feathers. Thank you, spirit. Uh, tell me a little more about that five of feathers. Thank you. Call to awakening. I feel you've come away from an environment. Um, and I feel this is why you're you're making this decision to do this sort of on your own. This 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 pecking through stuff. Uh, the five of feathers is conflict. It's that mind, the mind uh, running the show. Let's put it that way. It's the sort of toing and froing uh, of endless different types of picking up things, dropping them here with the branches here. A lot of squawking, a lot of noise uh, with the blue jay, um, and. What I feel for you, my darling, is that you finally within this, and I can see the acorns here, you finally within this worked out that this is not what you're here to do or experience. This is not what it's about for you. Um, there's more to life than this. And this Five of Swords experience has given you the opportunity to make those changes for yourself. This is not an environment that you choose, uh, you wish to be in anymore. And it was your call to awakening. Uh, this is the sun. It was your call to start focusing on, on what was right for you, what feels right for you. Where do you feel that, uh, where do you feel um, your growth? Where do you feel that you've been stuck? You know, it's a very interesting thing. Um, and when we feel stuck, we then the op opposite of stuck is to, you know, is to um, 
be detached to be attached to something but when we detach from the situation thank you spirit when we're attached to an outcome we're attached to a person we're attached just to, to some situation we're not allowing for any movement we're stuck the energy is stuck but when we detach from it which is what you've done and gone into a place of um observation of your life reflection of your life putting yourself first which is very important uh, for the greatest good of all, uh, in terms of, you know, what uh, creating your own strong roots, those seeds, those strong roots, you, in the detachment of it, you are literally unsticking the situation. So this call to awakening has been a very powerful call. It's been a bit of a wake up call for you, a little bit like the rooster, here, a little bit of a wake up call. Um, so I do feel though that, that, that you have been within this space um, very supportive of others and allowed them to grow and I don't know if this is children for you or just friends around you but you're very supportive um, and you've allowed within your holding various energetic spaces you've 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 allowed others to be the, in the full expression of who they are but I don't feel that you've been that for yourself and this is what's happening now um let's have a little look see at what's happening in your consciousness at this time thank you in, within your thought processes thank you seven of cups and on the bottom of the deck the seven of branches I think the universe is presenting to you at this time lots of different choices don't don't try not to become overwhelmed by by what's being presented to you at this time again it's all within your divine design as the sea line here you are more than ready uh, for any challenges in your life, for any opportunities in your life that are now presenting themselves to you because you've unstuck that energy from the past. It's now detached, liberated energy. Some some are very much present for you on the surface of things. They're right there. They're almost like a sort of physical manifestation of something. So whether it is, um, I don't know, um, an offer from somebody to do something, a job offer, a a movement of I, something that's very, you know, a little surprise and delight for you that's appeared because you went, oh, I manifested that. I didn't realize that I'd done, but that I've done that because I was emotionally thinking and feeling about it. But equally, there are four down here under the water. So there are a lot more opportunities and um, experiences that the universe is going to give you now that are going to allow you to to go deep uh, and this is with regard to your spiritual gifts as well so uh, I'd be very interested to know what uh, how you are feeling that you're expressing yourself spiritually at this time and what you're leaning towards because these are the gifts these are ones that you are very aware of but there are others still yet to come in for you okay so this is why it says here you are in the process of developing and fine-tuning your spiritual gifts and there's many of them there and each of them are blossoming into flowers some have presented themselves already there is more to come and i feel that you are with this uh, this in your conscious mind as the sea lion the seven of cups you've kind of garnered up the courage but there is a playful approach that you're taking at this time to this spiritual gift you're not making it too serious and that's perfect it's absolutely perfect because spirit loves to play and loves a surprise and delight and has an incredible sense of humor uh, but there is depth there is great depth to what you're doing and there's great depth to what is going to be given to you uh, and whenever we enter into um, the aspect of healing and energy and spiritual work there are those that are not yet ready to receive that message um and we can find ourselves sometimes um becoming maybe a bit defensive maybe trying to get somebody to see how we see it but if it's not being received if it's not being received in a way that you know that's being immediately understood try not to get upset or try not to get defensive it is simply that the others can't hear what you're saying they're not at that divine design of their life to hear it's like a different radio signal and to bless yourself and bless them because everybody is exactly where they're meant to be and there is blessings in all of this uh, but you 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 don't need to get upset by it um and uh, they will hear what they are meant to hear and they will not hear what they're not meant to hear because also they equally have their own um, 
life path to follow they have their own experiences and you know it may not be well it won't be if they can't hear what you're saying or what you're desiring to do and they have a different opinion of it they can't hear they can't they don't have that direct perception of your soul's energy like you do um and so you know people will will uh talk and feel just like we know that we do from the perception we have about ourselves and where we are in our life so uh try not to get there's two sevens here remain focused on 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 what's appearing for you and try not to get too fired up and too heated uh, with those that don't understand what you're trying to do uh so uh let's have a look at your subconscious okay your subconscious that wonderful naughty uh amazing energetic computer within you that imprints everything and is always producing a resonant signature with or without your direction what's your subconscious doing at this time eight of feathers so there's a little bit of conflict within you and this is why they're asking you to have unwavering faith um and what i'm feeling with this it comes down to you can either remain within this boundaries of fear or you can see fear as an energy that you're just going to fly through it. You're just going to walk through it. You're just going to accept that fear is an energy. that's something that is only present now. And it comes from the ego part of us that is very resistant to change, that can hold on to things because it does not want to change. And you that is that is that perception here. But at any one time, this little seagull can rise above that. So uh, with this Eight of Feathers, the Eight of Swords, there is within you a conflict happening with, and perhaps that's why you're confused with this Seven of Cups and you've got the Seven of Wands here. And Spirit is uh, asking you or urging you to remember that when you are sending out an energy emotion, your emotions, energy emotion, if they are in a line with your conscious thought subconscious and conscious are working together it's very powerful mm -hmm. but if you are in conflict mm -hmm. with your conscious mind with how you're feeling about things you're going to be in uh, discord with what is happening mm -hmm. so they are asking you to have unwavering faith you're being asked to have faith in the unseen so you have a a real hope a real belief in something i'm sorry about daisy mm -hmm. snoring um and yet it hasn't yet appeared you feel in your life but it already has it's already there it just hasn't yet appeared in front of you as something made manifest for you to see with your eyes but it is there already happening in energetic form it's been weaved into that divine design of yours to appear in perfect perfect plan for you so but you are being asked to have unwavering faith and it's also unwavering faith in the unseen so that if you are involved with a spiritual gift that is um uh, either a reader or an energy healer or a, um, a medium somebody who is uh, acting as a channel with unconscious uh, writing um have unwavering faith in yourself during this process because you are within that space within your creative expression you are non-resistant life force energy and you are here as part of this life process, as part of this um, meaning, this specific destiny, you're allowing that life force energy to work through you to create what you are intending to create as a soul here, as an aspect of that spiritual gift. And you're being asked to have faith in that process. You're being asked, to, I can't remember the word I used at the beginning of the reason, but you're asked, being asked to have faith in that structure about what is happening right now and just to let it keep happening and coming through you. You know, there are many times before I start a reading where I feel that trickle of fear that um, that the words aren't going to come up and come forth. But the moment I start doing the reading, um, and I let Victoria sort of sit aside and I say, thank you very much <laughs> for just sitting aside and I start to flow, then the feelings of fear disappear. So you have to give yourself um, the opportunity. You know, you can do anything that you desire to do and you do desire to do this, but it is just remember the old habit of not believing in yourself or perhaps not believing in this unseen that is stopping you at this time. Um, let's have a look at your near future. There is a blossoming, my darling, of your gifts at this time. There is a blossoming, they're saying. Thank you. 
Too many cards. One card, please. Thank you, Spirit. Where is this little seagull flying to and looking? I saw um, the temperance card. There are signs. You are seeing signs. They keep saying, look up, look up. Well, that is lovely. We all love these toads here. The three of branches, the three of wands. Your near future, my darling. Um, I just said blossoming. Here is the blossoming of your gifts right here. For not only yourself to see, but others to see. Encouraging others to take perhaps leaps of faith in their lives that they haven't taken before because of what you've been able to impart to them through your spiritual gifts. There are other, as I said, other gifts yet to come up through the surface, but they will come in their natural timing. And with this um, frog here, it is to say to, to act outside of the mind. You know, we, 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 we exist within this identity and personality and our mind only has the memories from this lifetime. It doesn't have any other memories from that. So we have to step out of the mind sometimes in order to make sense of the unknown, the unseen, the spiritual view of life. We have to, to work through us as through that heart space and we have to allow the words to come forth. We have to allow the universe to work through us without the resistance of the mind. Um, and so, yes, we have to be out of our minds in order to do this, but it takes trust. So spirit is saying to to continue to do when you do it so beautifully, act spontaneously, take that leap and then see what happens rather than overthinking it and not doing it. Because the three of wands is your manifestation, my darling. And this is you as the queen of cups, very, very psychic, very happy within your emotions. I feel that that your 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 um you have this wherever you go, you kind of bring home with you. Wherever you go, you make people feel like they're at home. Uh, I don't know if you go to various different people or whether you already have clients or whatever it is that you do, my darling, but you you have this sort of lovely energy about you and you make pe people feel at home. Um, I feel that you're you're you haven't quite settled yet within your life and that's OK. You're a bit of an adventurer, but you're also learning through these spiritual gifts that you can't fix people, that it is up to somebody if they want to affect a change in their life, we can give them a prod, we can give them the words to inspire, we can give them advice, but it's up to them, it's their responsibility, their choice, whether they wish to uh, then take that forward and make an impact in their own lives. And again, it's part of their divine design, whether they do or not. And I think there's been, and there will be within you a continued release of you wishing to have that um to release that burden of responsibility to think oh my god I, I you know I re why didn't they get that why didn't they understand that but actually to say do you know what my job is done I delivered the message and then it's up to that soul it's up to that individual what they decide to do and actually if I try and overfix, I could interfere in what is the natural cause and effect and the natural karmic cycle of somebody's life um, and that approach, that energetic approach that you're coming more and more into in the future is allowing that flow of um, abundance to come with you as well, because you are knowing that everybody is supported by the universe and everybody is given experiences um, and relationships as teaching tools from themselves. And that actually sometimes um, it's best not to interfere. It's best just to let people get on. But within that space, you're protecting your own energy space as well. Uh, last card, please, Spirit. Thank you. Lots of water in this cards. OK, but also, you know, there's been a lot of grounding for you. Thank you, Spirit. Of course, you are. You've got the King of Swords has come out for you. You are a messenger, my darling. Uh, more and more acknowledgement of that. It's a messenger with grace. It's a messenger with humbleness. Understand as well that when you take on too much of other people's energies, it can also make you very tired. So that is also for you to understand with this Ten of Wands. Um, 
and uh, to understand that you can make a you you must make a choice to also move away from energy that brings you down. So you know when you there are other energies here as well. So it is a it's the understanding that there is a balance between um, being a messenger, expanding on those spiritual gifts, but then also taking a break, taking a rest. Uh, and don't feel frustrated if suddenly those um, spiritual gifts uh, are not coming forth the way they used to. There may be a slight change of direction from spirit for you. Uh, there are days where I just, I come to read and it doesn't happen. And I used to get very frustrated with myself. Now I just understand that spirit saying to me, no, have a take time out, take time out. So I take time out and then I come back. But, but, you know, with this eagle, it is a message from spirit and it is a message through you from spirit. So whatever you're doing with your spiritual gifts, my darling, you keep doing it, sweetie. Uh, and that's very, very lovely. And I know that you've got the king of wands here. It's something that you really desire. And when you desire something and you are acting responsibly and gracefully with it and you're not in a rush about it and you're very meaningfully approaching this as something that is specific for your happiness and you and your knowing um the universe will respond will always respond with a yes but will be in constant support of you and everything that is being presented to you is there in support of the um your spiritual growth they're just asking you to have unwavering faith sometimes if the way you're doing things has changed or you're not feeling it the same way it's because there's been a shift and you're about to enter into another sort of dimension and portal of this so um this reading wasn't for everybody but uh, i always read for those that are meant to come and hear these messages and if this resonates with you my darling uh, i trust that it has helped you at this time so much love and i look forward to doing another reading for you soon in the meantime don't forget to check out the weekly uh, relationship readings and also the daily readings and i will be doing you uh, an elemental fast sign reading uh, as well this month uh, take care my darling so much love bye bye